I got it on film. I'm gonna post it everywhere. I guess this one's, this one's for you, Tyler. Send it. I really hope this view is awesome. Good morning. We're in Harrisburg, Virginia, the home of the Jeremiah Bishop Alpine Loop Grand Fondo. It's a little muggy and uh, and pretty warm. I think it's calling for the high of like 85. Mm. That's delivery. <laughs> it's such a big van. Yeah, it's a bit of a beast. Well, there you have it. Your nice. loaner bike for the weekend. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much a stock Canyon Endure CF SLX. It's got some really nice features for comfort. A little bit extra flex in the seat tube. Um, the handlebar is actually a little bit more flex. We got some 28C Grand Prix Four Seasons on here. So, and this is pretty much what you ran for Dirty Kansas. Actually, I did uh, before having pre-ridden the course. So, had I pre-ridden the course, for sure a Grail course. Um, this route is a little bit more of a mixed terrain, like dirt roads for sections, like short sections, and then paved for very big time sections for the climbs. We have a crazy cool course that goes way out into West Virginia. In fact, the uh, next county over, once you get over the, this big mountain that makes up the border between Virginia and West Virginia, you get into Pendleton County, where the population is lower now than in the late 1800s. Really cool to show people my backyard and you know get people out on a real authentic experience. So that's a big part of it. Then we partnered with um, Prostate Cancer Awareness Project because they were looking for a way to tag their message in uh, an activity that men actually pay attention to because men don't care about going to the doctor's office. We have a lot of cancer survivors that come out uh, for this event and it makes it you know a whole unique um, backdrop for them. Significance of that number, twenty-four thousand. Uh, uh, twenty-four thousand six hundred, something like that. Twenty-five thousand miles is the distance around the world. Ah. And I have ridden twenty-five thousand miles cancer-free to get this jersey. Have you gone past twenty-five thousand miles? I've gone past twenty-five. I've gone past fifty. I'm working on my third jersey. I'm up to sixty-five thousand miles. Wow. Cancer-free in the last almost ten years. That's pretty amazing, man. Alrighty, that was a great little spin. Um, dude, it's, so the weather is strange. It's not hot, but it's humid. And so when you stop, it's kind of like you're you have a blanket on you. And so you, you really, it's hard for your body to like dissipate that heat. The, this event is sponsored by Porsche. And one of the things that Jeremiah said, it's like, if you come, you'll be able to drive a Porsche. And I saw them and I want to drive a Porsche. So I don't know, I don't want to push them on it though. I don't want to be like, what's up with that Porsche, Jeremiah? Like hit me up with that Porsche. You know, I just let it come. But hopefully we can roll up to this VIP dinner because I have like nice clothes, dude. I got this like nice, I don't ever wear nice clothes, but I've got this nice like button up right here. I'm trying to get fancy. Go to dinner. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip this, tell them run it up. 
No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might rest. Are you coming or what? <laughs> yeah, dude. This is a crazy dash. Yeah, yeah, it's a, all what? kinds of crazy <laughs> stuff. Like, I mean, you can go into orbit with this bitch. You know what a car do, send your bitch to an evening. She said we don't got enough room to get freaky in here because it's just a pussy. Flash and must have considered a trick if I get her a hoopy and buy me a To give you some context, this is like a, I don't really know, a VIP dinner for the night before. I think it has a lot to do with like the fundraisers or like who supported, and just like thanking the sponsors and that sort of thing. Uh, Tony is wildly underdressed for the VIP dinner, but that's okay because he's an awesome dude and he can do whatever he wants because he's the tallest. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc, go for the Sauvignon Blanc. Thank you. You're welcome. So t tell me again, so these, these, these people in the pink jerseys, they are, there's a school, a private school. Yeah, it's so the Miller School of Albemarle. So you see them at the front of the Fado, but they have a really unique cycling program that draws people from all over the world. Uh, so they're a college preparatory school, but the uh, old building, this um, old main is, is like something out of like Hogwarts, uh, it looks like Hogwarts Academy. And um, yeah, they've uh, really carved a niche as a specialist school for aspiring cyclists. And uh, they always come and bring a squad uh, at the Fondo. And they're at the front. And as juniors do, the beginning, it's like a game on. I'm like, guys, guys, this is a grand Fondo, but it's like tranquilo. We're just chilling here until we get to the time sections. And then you can, you know, pull the gloves off. But, you know, that's how it is with kids. We're full gas in tomorrow, dude. I'm trying to do really well because I'm just, uh, that's all, you know? Why not? Why not just try to do really well? See you in the morning. I don't know if this is hard to show you, but right over there is like why this is called the Blue Ridge Mountains or the area is Blue Ridge Mountains because like the way that the fog is kind of gives like the top ridge of this blue tent. 109 miles, four time sections. My anticipation is it's going to be more competitive on the time sections, but way more chill in between. It's beautiful. It's going to be a hot day today, but it's a little chilly out right now, so that's why I'm running the the flan on the way to the start. What you're expecting so far? Uh, pain, mostly. Pain and cramps. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How many times have you done it? Probably about, I think this might be the fourth or fifth time. Okay. I'm not really sure. <laughs> and so what What should I expect? Um, just an epic ride, long day, good climb, super people, awesome time. Awesome, man. Yeah, I'm out here for my dad because uh, he had prostate cancer. Okay. So we ride together. He's 76. Awesome. Cool. Fantastic, man. One. Yeah, you too. Section. Like, yeah. uh, I'm trying to Strava hack yeah, this and train. fall off the back. What's this next section like? Yeah. This section oh, no. is um, yeah, so about four got, miles like, long. Just, I believe weird. three, three, uh, three and a half, four miles long. Okay. So, I mean, dependent. My best time is 21 minutes. I believe. Okay. So, you know, the fast guys will be fast. A couple minutes quicker. Yeah. So, All righty. I'm okay for my age. <laughs> can't keep up with the young guys. Bringing young bucks.
Almost out of gas. Legs running low. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. These settings are locked. You will suck and be old forever. Lols, lols, lols. Nice. Yeah, they got everything. So how was that first climb? Oh, like really, really hard. <laughs> did, you, you, did you put it to the whippersnappers? I didn't put it to the whippersnappers, but I kept up with whippersnappers. Uh, so I was right on Eddie Anderson's wheel at Ben Wright, former um, hill climb national champion um, and Strava terror. Um, he went off the front a little early and we kind of tracked him down. So I think Eddie's in the lead here by a second or two, but uh, Seeing as I forgot to put my chiming chip on this morning, it, uh, yeah. It's, it's just your word against everyone else's? You well, just say. Well, no, I just need to, like, look like I'm, you know, in the mix a little bit. Uh, okay. And then the last one, when I just, like, you know, slum and, and a hurting, then I can uh, save face and just say I was, like, you know, just trying to give someone else a chance to win <laughs> after I get dropped. <laughs> this, like, X Men school, yeah. right? I mean, like, what is, so it's like a school. It's a, that's designed for cycling? It's one of the best junior development programs in the United States. So it's, uh, whether you're just an uh, avid cyclist or you're a full-on racer, they, they make you into the best rider you can be. So when you have like homework, mm. is it like, okay, go home and, and do uh, geography, but also then do 4020s? Yeah, so we have an entire schedule that way. So we get out of school at 320, practice is at 340, and then study hall at 7.30 tonight, so we get everything done. That first climb was very difficult. Uh, these these young bucks, dude, these pink jersey kids who like, their whole, it's like uh, the Xavier school for the special, you know what I mean? Like, uh, these, it's just specifically for cycling. So these kids come from all over the world to go like do high school, but it's, it's, it's very designed for you to be a cyclist. It's really neat. and. Um, I kind of hung on their wheel for a little bit, but dang, dude, the climb was long, and... Yeah, I can kind of see some of the leaves turning up there, but we uh, cross the river here. That's the peak? We go straight up. It's like That's the one on dirt. multiple sections of 20 plus percent on dirt. Ah. Like right up from the river. Okay. It's just a bastard. That's why I put it in there. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it on film. I'm gonna post it everywhere. So tell me about that, that Video. climb. Oh, what man. gear are you, what gears are you running? It's a, uh, it's the new SRAM Axis. 
50 to my gear is 50 30 or 50 28 is my easy gear or sorry yeah i can't even think straight what is it's like 37 28 yeah so you got to give a lot of power on yeah. some of those steep spots stay seated on something like that or you'll just slide i'm so wet yeah. are you wet very very wet not in a good way <laughs> Yeah. Are men supposed to get wet when they get aroused? No. Because if you get wet, I, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> this is, um, it's very competitive. And sometimes when like, even if you're feeling good, if, if guys are going away from you, then it's like relative to them that I don't now don't feel good. Boy, it's pretty out here though. It's really, really pretty. Is this this fizzy coffee you were talking yeah, about? Yeah, you should have just seen it explode all over his face. Like, <laughs> yeah, that so I did it. I did it the other way. So I guess this one's this one's for you, Tyler. <laughs> Let me see you do it. Well, give me your rating. I give it like a an eight out of ten for taste, for like variety. Amazing. It's kind of like a chocolate. Try this out. Who thinks up of these things? See what these guys do. Just working with what we have here. <laughs> Clementina. Okay. So I didn't really want to say it in front of uh, the guy making that coffee, but I'd rather just either have an espresso or a San Pangolo Ringo. San Pablo Carino, however you say it. Mixing the two. It's kind of weird, dude. Weird stuff, hippie stuff. This road is terrific. Um, I'm, I'm a sucker for canopy. You know what I mean? Like having the trees over the top of my head with a stream to my left. I mean, that's just the formula for a dope road. Trees over your head, stream to your left, well paved, good company. That's it. Good times, man. So for me, this is kind of the hardest part of any ride. It's like, you're like three quarters of the way done. Like, we've got two time segments. We have a 30 minute, kind of riding the struggle bus, dude. You know, mentally, I just try to put myself somewhere else. You know, like I'm enjoying the scenery, obviously. But I kind of try to think about like what my dinner's gonna be like, or just laying in a crisp, cool bed. You know, I try to mentally go somewhere else. And I think about that a lot. I think about like how comfortable the bed is gonna be, how my legs are gonna feel when I'm like well rested. And that sort of just helps me get out of my mind so that then all of a sudden you're like, oh dude, I'm done with riding, you know? But you can't dwell on being like, ah oh, man, I don't feel good, or uh, this big climb is coming up. You can't think about that stuff. And sometimes when you don't think about it, all of a sudden you start riding like pretty good. Anyways, diary of a cracked cyclist. Why do pickles work? Replenishing sodium. So. Where does the sodium come from? Is it in the pickling process or is it just like a cucumber's not like full of salt? You know, that's a good question. I, I don't actually know. I don't but really you're know a scientist. I'm a scientist, I am, but I'm not a pickle scientist. <laughs> but so we have the biggest time segment right now, which is it's like the KOM is like 25 minutes. So depending on, I really kind of want to just mail it in, but then I feel like what if, you know, there's 30 to 34 category. Is there even, do I even have potential to get on the box for that? But it would be shitty to be like 20 seconds off third and, and have mailed it in. So we'll full gas it. I just don't know how fast that full gas is gonna be. It could be very slow.
What's your name? Andres. Andres. <laughs> he uh, he did good, man. I caught up to him, and then and then he pretty much towed me all the way in, going hard. I mean, that last little bit's like, dude, we probably made up a minute. Like if I wasn't with you, yeah. I'd have I'd have been just noodling. So Jeremiah told us about this uh, little bonus. A little, uh, little flex that you can do if you want to separate yourself from the weaklings. You can go up, do another three miles, up to this panoramic shot, and uh, get some cool Instagram pickers. I really hope this view is awesome. Uh, should you do the little out and back up here? Yes, you should, but it's gonna hurt. Or at least that's hurting me. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's a dick. I didn't see it, and that's awesome. I called it up. You did? Dude, I've always got the eye for the dick. I missed it. feel so much better probably feel the best I've ever felt best I've ever felt best I've felt today so far right now after that little descent I don't know man it's just like that's the thing sometimes you just got to put your mind out just don't think about it because you might hit a second wind I feel really good right now and I'm very stoked on the ride at the top of that little like lookout I was tears bro no not good but now after a little like flowy descent, I'm trying to smash, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling happy. Endorphins are up, rides are great. Yeah. It's pretty steep. Um, the legs are so fatigued, it's kind of hard to get like. Going, you know what I mean? But I felt good. But I felt the best, the best segment I felt on all day. So now we're waiting for Tony, but he's cramping, cramping hard. Papa Wheelie. Good job, guys. All right, so tell me, <laughs> we did your little out and back. Did you? Yeah, it was great. Did you guys get epic, like, stormed on? No, well, not at all. It we actually missed here. it. We had wind oh. knocking stuff down and tents uh, blowing over. Uh, but the ride itself was just amazing. Everybody had a blast. We had a uh, banner turnout and just so many new faces. Like, it's cool when you see people you've never met before just coming out and just giving it a whirl. And I know I've, I've talked some smack on age groups in the past, um, but I don't care. I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked to get the dub in 30 to 34. My overall placing was 20th, so not like great overall. Um, 17 minutes off the winner, 
who the winner is the current U.S. hill climb champion. Um, so, you know. But, dude, such a great event. And I'm just like, after that, after kind of like suffering and being on the rivet and like then having a second wind, you know, you want something to show for it and to have the 30 to 34 age group win. Big day, so now we're back here at the Love Cottage. And I'm gonna take myself a romantic candlelit bath. Cause that sounds amazing. And in ending this video, you know, the, the prostate awareness project the Prostate Cancer Awareness Project is a big part of this event. And dude, like cancer, the word cancer, it means wildly different things to different people. If it's affected your life in any way, then it holds a lot of weight. If it doesn't, you're just like, I don't know. And I have a hard time talking about it to anyone because it's like, I don't know what to say. It's not affected my life or anyone really that close to me. My wife's grandma had brain cancer and I saw from afar like how that kind of wrecked her family, but I don't really know how to talk about it. I, I don't know what to say. So if you're a dude, you should get your prostate checked. I think at 35, I don't know, dude. I honestly don't even know what a prostate is. The only thing I know is that I've seen videos and it's like getting my prostate checked and a doctor sticks his fingers up your butt. That's the only thing I know, but maybe that's not, yeah, that's incorrect, right? I, but that's the idea is that to bring awareness to your prostate this event is not only about riding great roads and hanging out with great people and eating great food, but it is also potentially could save your life, right? Because if you catch this early, then uh, then you can fight it versus if you just put it off. And, and check out the, the Jeremiah Bishop Grand Fondo if you're in the area or even if you're not, dude. Take, take a, a couple hour drive, come out here and uh, enjoy this event. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, Vegan Cyclist. You! Yeah.